I bought the cheapest Kobe Bryant autographed basketball online. Now today's the day we get to unbox this ball and start trying to figure out if it is indeed authentic. Open that up, take that out of there. All right, so we'll start with Shaq's, which is this one up here. I don't know, right off the bat, I'm seeing some things that are quite a bit different. For example, right here, on the one online, it kind of goes down, then over, then down again. Also, this loop right here is a lot bigger than the one online. Okay, let's go to Kobe now. The K on Kobe actually looks pretty close. This last little peak here, he usually makes like a loop. I'm having trouble finding an example online where he left the top of the B go out this far. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> now, I'm no autograph expert. So after examining the ball myself, I sent the listing in for a PSA quick opinion and a few days later, they told me it was likely not genuine. But then I sent it over to another online authentication service, and they told me that they thought it was indeed authentic. Through this process, I've been exposed to the somewhat sketchy world of authentication services. But guys, this ball was seeming like a bust, so I actually ended up buying another ball that has a somewhat convincing story. So stick around because it's gonna get spicy. Peace.